What does Kyle Shanahan have to do to win a Super Bowl this year? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, not run his quarterback to the ground. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that, no, late. no, no. That, that, that's one. Too late. I, I, would, I would add to that his running backs as well. Two games, two running backs hurt. He, every year he gets his quarterbacks and running backs hurt. He needs to find a way to protect his quarterbacks and running backs. That's a really good – also Debo yeah. is in that too because he's a running back now. So, yes, you got to keep those players healthy. I, of all the offensive geniuses in the world, he does the worst job of protecting his quarterbacks and running backs. The worst. I think – Shannon has to do specifically. I mean, that's kind of hard. I mean – for me to cite, because I really thought his best chance, which is the reason why they went with him in the first place, was getting Trey Lance up to speed. Yeah. What does he have to do? Make make sure his ceiling gets kind of, you know, not definitively reached because it was always yeah. going to be a long process. But now you have Jimmy there. It's like we're, we're kind of back to square one here. Now yeah. it's like, what does he have to do? Be perfect. Yeah. Be perfect. Keep Jimmy healthy. Keep, Keep him Jimmy healthy. upright. You haven't been able to do that ever, Kyle. You got because the one year you did, you actually went to the Super Bowl. If you can mm-hmm. keep Jimmy healthy, no Brock Purdy. That's what also keep Debo healthy. Don't run him between the tackles. If there's one thing we learned last week, it's that running between the tackles in the NFL is dangerous. And you probably shouldn't do it with anyone other than running backs. Because Debo, that's their job. <laughs> How did Debo get hurt last year? Did he collide in knees or something? Or bummed his hamstring? I forgot what it was. It's usually a soft tissue thing, but all it takes is one, man. And the more they give him carries between the tackles, the more likely it's going to happen one time. All it takes is once. I thought he got whacked in the leg or something, but I thought it wasn't because of like a non-contact. I thought he got whacked. I don't know. I could be wrong because everyone gets injured. It gets lost in the shuffle. But, yeah, yeah, honestly, it's just Kyle has to be perfect. Um, How do you save him? Jimmy, that's a huge question. And that's something that – that's why we can ask him or ask in in general. And we don't have to answer it because we're not the coach. It's it's on them to get it right, not us. So – for him, yeah. it I, I would think of look. I know he's not mobile, but you guys were doing boot action pretty damn well in 2019. You mentioned that was when he was healthy, and that was when he was throwing deep. Can we go back to that? Can we try that a little bit? I, I'm confused why that was so lost upon. You know the wide throwbacks, all those everything, just the boot action, the dump offs for the yaks, for the easy eight yard completion. I mean, whatever happened to those? Dude, Kyle, Kyle called a zone read for Jimmy Garoppolo at like the nine yard line, and he got whacked. And it's like, dude, Kyle, don't do that. I saw that. That's one. what I'm saying. Like, don't do Whoa. that. Why are you running Jimmy Garoppolo in in the, at all? But you're winning in the fourth quarter. It, don't do that. You have to keep him. Let the running backs run the ball. That's what he needs to do. He needs to let the running backs run the ball. No Debo, man. That's that is if you have to do it to win the game. You don't let him return punts, right? That's too dangerous. But you yeah. let him run between the tackles. So no Debo unless you have to. Let the running backs do their freaking job and let Jimmy Garoppolo th- encourage him to throw the ball down the field because you know you ain't winning a Super Bowl if he can't do that in the playoffs. Instead of crushing his confidence when he throws a pick, do what Mike McDaniel does for Tua. All Mike McDaniel does is be like, dude, you're hella good. I think you need to be more confident. You're not having enough fun when you play. What? Did you watch that video I sent you of McDaniel? Yes. What, he, what he's propping yeah. up? I was like, you're not God, having enough damn, fun. You, how does he work confident? Out? Where Kyle's the opposite. He's like, you're having too much fun. I think you're trash. He didn't say that. But it's like, he's like the negative voice on your shoulder where McDaniel's like, no, he's the positive uplifting. Be that guy. Be it's that not guy. shocking why Tua went for six and almost 500. It's like, I mean, look, I'm not trying to give him 100% of the credit. It's just worse because he still has got to go out there and execute it himself. But I mean, it's Is tell Tua me that, that much like, better than Jimmy? You're down 35-14 and some words will help you because you could probably yeah. feel like this is over. I suck, whatever. And McDaniel's probably like, Get your ass up. Come on. Get it out there. You can do this. Yeah. All this stuff. That's yeah. what you need. That's what every yeah. coach needs. That's what every person in life needs. That's what everyone, you can't that's be what the person that's going to, like, you know, curb stop you when you're on the ground, man. Come on. What are we doing? Yeah, I mean, you could say that Jimmy's never been the same since Kyle took the uh, ball out of his hands against Minnesota in that first game. He's never played with confidence um, since Kyle did that to him in a playoff game, ever. Yeah, because that game before against Seattle, he was amazing. I think that was his best He was. Game he ever. played like, with confidence. Down the, that, down the stretch in the regular season, he played with confidence. He was throwing yeah. if he could if they could bring that guy back, they they have a chance. Kyle, Kyle neutered Jimmy Garoppolo in the playoffs. And Jimmy's <laughs> never been this. He did. It's Kyle's fault. Yeah. Um, I got more. Kyle needs to hold himself accountable for his mistakes. So we talked about that with Jimmy Garoppolo. And I feel like this is it's Kyle's fault because Kyle's the coach. Kyle sets the tone. He's the leader. And when Kyle never holds himself accountable for his mistakes, then then the other people won't either. The the, the quarterback won't. 
and the defensive end won't and the tight end won't all guys who think they're good and above it and they keep passing the buck down to players who aren't really de determining wins and losses did he hold accountability in week one after all those penalties no um, he just said we you know we, we have to do something it's like yeah you've been saying that for years man that's why i know it's crap because it's like to me it's like you, look the penalties greenlaw was on one that day and some of the other players too it's like all right the players for sure they're the one that's committing it but what do they always say if you're coaching it or allowing it? I mean, if that means you weren't getting your guys ready, they were over there way too hyped up or way too like thinking put on mm -hmm. airs, whatever they thought they had mm -hmm. that game in the bag. So that, yeah, it's on you, Kyle. So that accountability is perfect. And you know, you mentioned the train injury. We already talked about the train injury, but I was thinking too, I, I had a lot of time to think about this. It's like he holds out Nick Bosa, George Kittle, and whoever else out of practice half the time in training camp because he doesn't want them to get hurt. But when it comes to this quarterback, Trey Lance, let's just run him into the ground because we don't care about him getting hurt. Or we don't. Yes, think that's football. Hurt. It's like a practice where he's not getting that's hurt. Football. Is that hypocritical? Yes. I think it is. Yes. Or that's right. delusional or that's, just, yeah. that's just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm the crazy one. Maybe I'm the crazy one here. And I just, I don't know. This probably like with these one. guys, you're trying to avoid injury. With Trey, you don't do anything to avoid injury. He gets hurt and you say injuries are unavoidable. It's football. So Same you can't thing. have it both ways. You're absolutely right about that. But I want to say this whole thing about holding yourself accountable, this is, again, my – this is, I feel, the dominant characteristic of this culture, this team. A good team that doesn't hold itself accountable is Kyle Shanahan's fault. And why I like Trey Lance so much is that he holds himself accountable, and he's going to be the leader of the team, and he can change the culture. And changing is what they need to win a Super Bowl, but this team doesn't want to change. This team wants to prove that they've always been good enough and that they were good as is, and that Jimmy's a part of that, and that's why they rejected Trey. Because Trey represented them being wrong. You guys aren't good enough. We got to change the system. 49ers football, whatever you think it is, isn't good enough. We got to be different, and they didn't want that. They're st it's still the revenge tour for them. 6.0. We were good enough. I don't like that. They're not committed to doing whatever it takes to win, the, to win it all. They're committed to, to doing what they can do. And then, you know, if it doesn't work out, they'll say, hey, you know what? We should have won.